Hello Gemmas, so here we go again. Today it is a quick scoot around the new Melcom um, Shiashi East Legon Jammers. Um, ordinarily I shop in ShopRite or um, Maxmart, but we found that um, Melcom, the prices are very, very, very keen there, Jammers, and they have a very wide variety. So it's a quick scoot around just to show you the prices, just to show you the availability. Ordinarily, I would say, please put your comments down but no one's doing it, so I'm not going to bother with that. But you are subscribing, which is a very, very, very much appreciated. You know, um, I think within the last three weeks or so, we've gained just under 50 followers. And I appreciate every single one of you. I don't take it lightly. You know, that's 50 people within the past three weeks that have said, you know what, I like the content, let me subscribe. So do go ahead and turn on those notification guys. Let's get down and have a look at those prices. Keep jamming, keep subscribing, keep sharing, and see you soon. Jammers, we are on our way. And um, at some point, I should actually do a Bolt Driver Chronicles. I must say, Driver, I'm George. I'm very happy that you've actually got seat belts. I'm very happy that you have seat belts. I mean, some of you bolt drivers, uh, we don't, they don't have the seatbelt at the back. They don't, well, they have the seatbelt at the back, but it's actually hidden. It, it, it's, it, it works perfectly well. They've just hidden it. So um, thank you so much. So Gemma's here we are. And um, yeah, I think I will be doing another top tips revisited because um, if anyone is mindful about bolt, I mean, like anything in life, you get good ones and you get bad ones. The majority of them are good, but the majority also seem to take away their seat belts. Seat belts. I mean, theirs are always intact, but um, back here it never is. So I'm very happy to see that George has got his seat be seat belts available available to me today. Um, so jammers, keep jamming, and please do subscribe and share. I hope you are enjoying the content as I've mentioned you know it is all about just making things a lot easier because um, relocating to Ghana you can find that you know it does take a while to get to grips with things but as I always mention it's all about being positive because um, by the grace of God I haven't had any major challenges or maybe my challenges are challenges that I've had that I think are not that big to other people they are big so off we go to it's actually Malcolm East Shiashi is that how you say it George is it Shiashi yeah, yeah. and um, do go ahead and have a look at the walkabout as you can see I mean I wonder what would happen if in Ghana drivers actually followed there we go, look at this one here, follow down the laws of the road. Everyone seems to want to do what they want to do, which is the reason why I'm actually delaying. I mean, I have got the driver's license. Do go ahead and watch how to get a driver's license. Um, hopefully you find that information useful. should be quite straightforward there to go ahead and get that. If not, you can get your international driver's license. Um, yeah, because I work remotely, um, yeah, and the cost of cars, it's just like weighing up when's the right time to actually, to actually get a car. But by now, you know that I don't rush anything and everything happens at the right time. So just giving you a little bit of scenery here. Currently 31 degrees today in Accra, Ghana. So we are going to Ghana guys. Come home to Ghana. Currently we are at the 2nd of March. Today is the 2nd of March. Thank you to all of the new subscribers. Really, really, really appreciate because um, as I mentioned that this year I'm really going to be 
focusing and being consistent with me. as well Jarvis that there's always lots of plants for sale. I often wonder because sometimes you'll just see them left unmanned um, at night. So you've got like the likes of your um, coconut trees or palm trees, Christmas trees all along here which are also very lovely. I think at some point I'll probably do a video and go ahead and see what the prices are on these kinds of things. Gorgeous day. Hamitan's actually clearing away now, which is quite nice. George, was Hamitan, is, is Hamitan season now gone? Yeah, because it seemed to kind of like come back all of a sudden in February, didn't it? So yeah, Hammer Town's now gone. So we're getting back to gorgeous sunny days in Ghana. I've not seen any rain. So apparently it rains at night. Has it been raining at night, George? Oh, is the rain, have you seen rain? Has there been rain? Yeah, I thought there hasn't been rain. I was saying, having a discussion with one of the girls when we went um, for brunch, and they were saying that, um, or one of them said that it was rain. It rains at night because I haven't seen any rain for weeks. So hence, it's so hot. Jammers, I'm just showing you the scenery here. We're nearly there, um, and yeah, we're just gonna have a quick scoot along. Actually, I can see in the distance there the sign, which is on a different way. Melbourne's just over there, straight ahead. This is a totally different route we've taken to get here today. Um, so yeah, I might just walk straight up, just go straight in. Yeah, at this point, Jammers, change of plan as we are now approaching into Malcolm. I probably won't do much walking because it is actually quite hot. Seeing as you're not commenting, Janice, I'm definitely not going to be doing anything. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so we've got some international schools along here as well. Okay. 
open. That's what's happening a bit further down the lawn. And we've got a drive straight up, please, George. Straight up, and then I can just literally just get out right there. Thank you. See, someone's there directing. You've got a pizza hut just there. And this is the entry. That was the entry point just there. We've got Pizza Hut there. You've got your flag man. He's, oh, that's probably the reason why sometimes they go that way. He's probably, sometimes they don't know actually whether or not it's gonna be a drop off or not. So you should give the driver an opportunity to literally just come straight up along here um, because it just makes it easier to get in. So we've got the lovely, New Malcolm here, nice car park, and Malcolm, second floor, first floor, and the supermarket. And we are going to check it all out. Jammers, please do go ahead and subscribe. Jammers. I'm hoping that this music is not going to be picked up too much. As you can see, you've got a wide variety here. That's your entry just there. And literally, like, I mean, 81 cities. I probably wouldn't want to pay 81 cities for a couple of pomegranates. Um, but there you go. And you've got the likes of your grapes, and um, yeah, they're probably having to reduce things because they're not actually being purchased quick enough, I think. That's one for me, myself personally, I definitely prefer to stick with local fruits. 21.99 cities and you've got, you have got about four kiwis in there. Kiwi berry. Berry before, um, but there you go. You've got kiwi berries up there, 100 cities, plums. So, literally, if you're wanting it, everything is actually here. If you're wanting it, it's just whether or not you actually want to pay the price again. Local, much better 25 29 for like half a watermelon there. Fruit juices are lovely, but again, we have a juicer, and I prefer just to juice things fresh. That's another top tip um, a juicer, all those kind of electronics, because you will find that electronics are very expensive here in Ghana. Um, I will be doing, like I said, another live coming up, I think, on top tips revisited because there is so much more to share with you guys. So, this is the new um, Malcolm. So they've got lots of different cocktail mixes here. These are obviously weighed weighed by the gram. Oh, these are actually quite interesting. Dates, almonds and white chocolate. Then again, like I said, because I am a dad pan, I actually do have some dates and we do have lots of white chocolate. So that's just giving me an idea. You probably keep jamming and keep subscribing because um, I never say anything I'm not going to do. You probably see me making something similar to this. Coming up soon, jammers. Because, um, yeah, I have got those ingredients at home. beans 10.59 per hundred gram so you can do the maths and the calculations this is probably a good one actually sesame seeds 11.49 per hundred grams and i have a feeling those are the kind of things in well definitely in the uk you can pick up quite inexpensively four cities 20 oh that's not bad for popcorn Here 
in we go. You've got like your mustard, green chilies. Again, we make lots of chilies at home. And go ahead and watch what can you get for a thousand cities in um, Kaneshi Market because the chili sauce that we bought or that I bought from there, amazing. Tomato purees. And um, today I'm just going to do a scoop round and then come and pick up the bits that I wanted to get, which is the likes of the um, baguettes. But again, you could make lovely sandwiches yourself, you know? This chicken escalope, um, uh, that's 0.4, just under half a kilogram, and that's 31 cities there. So I think the prices here are actually really good, I've got to say. You've got your bread here, and that's 13, 49 cities. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of Ghanaian bread or bread that's baked in Ghana. That's your baguettes there, and they're about nine cities. Um, wraps, Ava loves her wraps. We're gonna be cooking up some of those. And that's 18.49. Not seen this raisin bread before. That looks interesting. And here you go, there's the difference. I mean, you get these burritos, 49.99 for a pack of six. And then you've got these kinds of like, wraps which are like 18.49 and I think this gives me the idea of being very heavily processed whereas this is more natural I'd much prefer that well that's what I'm going to be buying anyway you've got your um wraps there 32.99 these biscuits I'm really fussy about biscuits and they've never really been crunchy enough but they're $14.99. You've got pineapple cookies. But yeah, you get the drift. And they've also got a nice kitchen over there and people are sat there having something to eat. Um, and again, I'm really spoiled because um, in my opinion, Mia makes the best cakes. So these kinds of cakes, I think they're quite American. So I think Americans will probably quite enjoy these, but even though that um, eclair looks very nice, I think we might have to try some eclairs because I haven't tried those before here. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello, thank you. How much are the cakes? Oh, I want to, I think I'm going to see whether or not he's going to say anything to me, actually, because... Um, yeah, I don't specifically need to know right away, but one sec, because I can see this manager guy here, and he has been very helpful in the... Yeah, so he's the um, the manager for the bakery section. He's quite helpful, but he doesn't really want to be on the video, which is fine, because I have been here before, and they weren't really running away hiding. <laughs> I do have that effect. Yeah, the manager's around here somewhere. Uh, if I find him, you'll see him. Uh, so here we go, Jamis. You've got your sausages. I can't say that I've bought those, so I just don't really like the look of them. And um, what I would say, actually, Jamis, is mincer. My grand always had like her own mincer. That's something that I do want to invest in because I find the burgers are not quite burgering for me. And if I can get the actual beef myself and mince it, um, here you can see your prices. You know, someone wanted to make a quick light soup. You've got 40 cities worth of um, goat there. You know? You've got your different chickens along here. That's your different prices. You've got your lamb shoulder. You wanted to like, make a nice lamb roast, lamb neck. So, Jam, as you can see what's happening, You've got a lovely fish section there. Okay, it's all happening right here. And the prices 104 cities, 56 cities. Actually, this is giving me curry chicken vibes. So, once I've done a scoot around, and again, you'll be seeing curry chicken Jamaica style at some point, it's all here, basically, guys all here 
delicatessen right here in the new Malcolm. Okay, Jamis. So I think you know you've got all your dairy products there. Just to give you a general idea of prices. I mean, I can't show you the prices for everything, can I? And that's 159 cities there for your cathedral city. Again, cheese is, I've always said cheese is very expensive. Yeah. I guess it's the price you pay for um, importing. All your dairies, all your yogurts. So, guys you've got literally everything that you would need right here again oil i have said that is very expensive 86.99 219 cities guys do your maths calculate that you can see 374.99 quite pricey but that's everywhere you go okay so alcohol section very expensive very expensive guys very 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 expensive i find alcohol here in ghana there's obviously some kind of promotion happening down there for coca-cola your wines literally you can see that everything is here absolutely everything okay this one here i've tried which i really like the moscato i do like it dry as well as sweet sometimes but that's really lovely okay jamie so let's scoot upstairs okay so we're just coming up here there you go again telling you what's what where things are but literally everything is here
so there's quite a wide choice here. Um, quality seems to be quite nice as well for these shorts, 65 cities. How to be Canadian. Uh, there you go, all you Canadians out there. There's something here for you. But basically, Jam, as you can see what's happening, there's literally everything here.
pyjamas, this is the end of the video. I do hope that you have enjoyed and that you have found this information useful. See you in the next video.